Hi guys, come with me as I show you how I achieved this look. We'll be using 0.5 copper wire, some crystals, and so this is the inspiration we are looking on to create. And when it comes to wire, don't use a sharp one. If there's a, a sports one or something, the normal cutter, you can use it because if you use the sharp this thing, it can spoil the, the tip of it. Wire work is all about twisting. Then you need twisting. You can pick the beads anyhow. If you look at this one, some I picked one, some I picked three, some I picked um, seed beads. The more you pick, the bigger the loop will look. Okay. The smaller you pick, the smaller the loop will look. So depending on what the person wants you to do, then you pick it according to. I sent you the video of the dress so you can you see how it looks. So it's all about twisting. And when I pick, I'll press the this thing. I'll bring it to where I want it to be, and usually it's in the middle. So I'll press the side to hold it in place. Then I put my finger here. Then I'll twist. Now, depending on how long I want it to be, and how much I'll twist. If I want it to be very long, then I'll twist. The reason why I keep my finger here is to make the side twist very nicely now if i leave it like this see you see so this one kind of like puts uh, this thing a stop to it doing this so it puts your this one here to control it now when you finish the side i mostly like my very first one to be long then the rest i make them a bit shorter so i'm going to be using the size six so size six. This one I don't put my hand in necessarily. I just pull the length that I want. If I want it to be longer, I do it like this. If I want it to be shorter, I put it closer and then I press. I always press to keep it in place. Then here I will just hold the side firmly, hold the side and then start twisting. So it only twist the short and uh, the length that I have allowed. If I leave it, it will still do that this thing. So you still have to control it. But just that in this case you don't have to put your finger in. Now when you are twisting, make sure you don't over twist it because if you over twist it, you see now it will come off. It will break. Okay. So twist it enough, but then don't twist it too much. Okay. If not it will break. So every time I'm doing the both thread, I put my finger inside. Now after each one, I'll twist a little, then I'll bring the wire to the side that I want. You know, when we did the two, I divided into two, two. If you don't pay attention to it, you realize that the same side will keep coming and you'll be using it. By then, realize one side will be long, one side will be short. In that, you are in control. If I want this one to come here, I'll just twist it and bring this one. If I want this one to come. And then also, I have to decide how long I want the intervals to be from one to the other. So if I want it very long, then I'll twist the side a bit more. Before I do the next one. But this one I want it to be cute. So when I twist more now. Then I do the next one. So like this. There are times where you will not even leave any intervals. You do everything at once. It will also give you a different look. Now like this. I always put the length that I want. Check it. Whether how I want it is that. But if I want it to be a bit shorter. I bring it down. And then you are in charge. So however you want it to be. You can do that. So it's all about twisting. So like that. So anytime I'm doing the two, I put my finger here. Just, 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 just. So like that. I can pick any beads I want, whether seed bead or crystals. If I want to pick it two, two, three, three, however I want it. I can choose to make the intervals equal. So when you want the intervals to be equal, as you are twisting it, you'll be counting. So one, two, three, four, five. So however length you got to by twisting and you like it keep that in mind mm -hmm. so for example if i twisted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i like the length then i keep that one in mind so anytime i'm twisting i twist ten. so you see that everything is looking perfectly nice i mean i like rough work <coughs> are you doing my hand or you're showing the thing to me okay so you keep doing this so you can shape it anyhow you want. You can bring them. Are we okay? Do you have any question? Blessing, do you have a question? Mm -hmm. Don't have any question. So if I give it to you, you can do it. 
Eh? So you cut your own this thing. Sometimes somebody starts for you. In my so. so you always try not to waste the this thing. And then every time when you are done, you should leave a bit of uh, this thing at the end. Stop looking all over all the things. You should leave a bit of uh, wire at the end. You can either decide to twist it like the way I've twisted this one. Like this. Or you can twist the ends very nicely and then cut it off and then we'll sew that one to the dress later. Look on the dress. I didn't say show the intestines of the dress. <laughs> <laughs> so like this. Look here. Look at this one. The temperature. So you can do this. This you can use for even a uh, bridal hair accessory by twisting them together. That's so when you're doing this one. Let me see us. Okay. Clap for yourself. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Clap for yourself. <laughs> So this is cute. So you do this one severally, then you get the number that you go like this, and then use this one. Are you watching? Mm -hmm. So this one will be the first one. I use this one to put here, and then I'll twist them together. Then I'll bring this one. So I'll be leaving a bit of space. So I'll bring this one here. Okay. Then like this. Like that. So you can continue this for as long as you want and you can use the pliers to twist them so you can have this <laughs> yeah. so like that okay. become like a branch or a tree or something like that if you have watched our video up to this point i think it's a good time to follow us or subscribe if you are watching on youtube now, the best way to describe how you attach the applique to the dress is like um, stitching buttons to a dress. Now, you see me using my map because if you leave the thread, it will get tangled with the wire. So keep your thread very short and just attach the wires as though you are attaching your buttons to a dress. Now, if this is the first time you are coming across any of our video, I am the CEO of Jenny's Bees. At Jenny's Bees, we offer training not only in fabric beading, but also in necklace making, bag making, beaded bridal hair accessories, and more. We offer both online and in-person training. We are in Ghana, Accra. So please pick our numbers in the caption and contact us. We have very flexible fee payment plans and classes. We are also reviewed the best.